ladies and degenerates, otakus and and freaks, welcome, welcome back to the Otaku Brothers podcast. I am your co-host Joseph, joined by my lovely, beautiful, magnificent, intelligent, extraordinary co-host Ben. We are back Hello. to episode 89. 89, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We got a great episode, guys. Anime Expo has been going on. A lot of the s- summer shows are... Or not summer, I guess. Would you say like spring? Spring shows are coming to an end. Yep. Um, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot has been going on recently. And me and Ben are excited to cover it. But, I mean, it's just... It's been busy. It's been a busy summer so far. You know, Japan happened and now life is happening. And so there's been, we, there's been a lot going on. But before we get all into any of that, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button with your nose if you haven't already. And yeah, it means a lot. We're at 156, Ben. 156. That's a that's a big big number. Getting up there. It is getting up there. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, thank you all so much. We have a lot of great news to talk about, as well as just um, our opinions about stuff. There's so much to talk about. Demon Slayer ended. Blue Lock movie released. There's just there's a lot to talk about in the anime I've heard about world. The movie. Yeah, Anime Expo happened. We're getting some stuff about Blue Lock season two, Bleach Core three um fire force is coming back so a lot to talk about tower of god season two and much much more so stay tuned we got a great episode but ben how have you been man it's been it's been a while i was supposed to see you earlier this week but unfortunately it didn't pan out yeah. but you know we miss you we love you and um i hope hope you're doing good up there you're doing good doing great chin, chin up chin up doing great i would have would have liked to come down for fourth of july but uh, i guess i had to work Mm-hmm. on friday which is a little unfortunate it is but but it happens man that's life such is life it does happen always yeah. next year but i've been good yeah that's that's great i heard you um you showed me you, uh you ended up fixing and working on your manga shelf collection finally which um yeah i, 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 I never sick. really got the chance to sit down especially with all the stuff that um i brought back from japan mm-hmm. i know i wanted to put that up there and then i Last week I got like eight volumes of manga. Mm-hmm. So everything, the the previous layout, I didn't have anywhere to put those manga, so I had to redo everything, clean it, make it look nice and pretty. But even then, I'm still, I couldn't find a place to put my one Attack on Titan volume. Yeah, it's just kind of sitting on top of some books. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm looking at oh. the collection right now. What is uh? Oh, fine. You got oh I didn't even know you got some you got two dress of darling ones you got a call of the night one too I didn't even know that some spy fam oh man that's that's sick you got a you got a nice little stuff you got some Naruto what would you say you have the most of oh I see the um, Japanese Shonen Jump magazines that's sick mo- pro- I think it's either Blue Lock or Chainsaw Man honestly really because oh, Chainsaw Man I've been pretty consistent about getting yeah Blue Lock too because whenever I started getting it there's only like mm. three volumes out so i there hasn't been like oh i need to like get all these at once it's like okay every two months i can get this volume yeah yeah that's been easy Ooh, you're missing you're missing one you're, you're missing a couple chains man you need to get 15 bro i am fifth volume 15 I, is so good bro i just keep forgetting mm. literally every time i go i'm like which chainsaw man ones do i need and yeah I, I thought i wrote it down somewhere but i didn't yeah i take a picture um, of my collection every time i head out <laughs> so like if like when I go like to college and stuff like that, if I leave some back, yeah. just to make sure I know which ones I don't have. So yeah, definitely pick up fifteen, go. and you need six. Six is peak as well. I do need six. I need two, five, and six, and then yeah. fifteen. Um, what else? I started getting Villain Saga. Yeah, I saw that there. But um, they started coming out with the deluxe editions, mm-hmm. which are kind of like the the Berserk books. Oh yes, yeah, I have been seeing those um, Barnes and Noble. So I I stopped getting Villain Saga, and I'm just gonna start getting those. Mm-hmm. Oh okay. Because they're they're nice big, uh, books. They're only like thirty bucks, I think. Mm-hmm. These are on sale right now. What else do I got? Some um, high cube, high cube, bleach. Some... Um, JJK, some Borto, some Black Clover, and Demon Slayer. I see. Yeah. I see you have kaiju as well. Are you collecting that? I didn't see that. No, it's not. Yeah. And skip the loafer. Skip and Lila. Skip and loafer is my like. It's like your little three. secret. Your secret. Like. It was good. It was nice. It was very refreshing. Yeah. It wasn't too like. 
over the top or it wasn't like mm -hmm. underwhelming it's, it's... dude i thought about getting the bochi the rock manga but i i I'm honestly i'm not a big fan of how the layout is so the the what books the books are like an odd they're like i don't know the ratio of books <laughs> like the sizing but it's yeah. it's not the normal like manga volume like taller yeah a little taller and, yeah. and skinnier and wider not wider but yeah. um taller and skinnier as well and the the manga but the boxes like the manga panels it's more like you open a page and then there's like it's a it's a blank page and then there's just like squares that are the panels oh. it's, it's very odd so i was, I was yeah. like ah, i'm not really a fan of that i like when it's the full page so yeah, it's fair. yeah so i was like ah, i don't know if i'm gonna get bochi the rock but it's regardless yeah um there's still yeah there's so much good stuff out there man um and i just tough. need to buckle down and start i just yeah. need to focus on one series to get mm -hmm. books for because yeah. last time i went i got i got haikyuu i got kaiju what else did i get um and then i got black clover i really like the black clover manga so i'm gonna start doing that but i just need to focus on yeah one no because i i feel you bro it's i i literally i walked into barnes and noble and i almost bought the like the th three more volumes of dawn to dawn to keep up with it but i i told myself i'm gonna wait till after i till i get back to to college um yeah to, to like binge it i want to binge it so um yeah i i just got volume 22 of jjk so i have zero through 22 which is mm -hmm. oh my gosh it's so much buddy but it's it's awesome uh i'm excited yeah, to read I, volume I, 22 it's it's um yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, looking that way, bookshelf, it's like I've pumped a lot of money into the manga industry. Oh yeah, oh yeah, gotta gotta feed it, gotta feed it. But hey, no, we can we can at least cope and say that we we do we we do we do a hobby, we do a podcast, so you know it's good to stay informed. Yeah, <laughs> so that's what, that's the cope we'll we'll have. Um, dude, yeah. also I'll, I'll say I love the uh, the JJK figures you got the the Gojo uh, and, yeah. and and I'm Getsu. so happy I got that. That is very sick. It is awesome, especially with the the Japanese cover behind it. Uh, with yeah. The volume. Um, what's that next to it, by the way? What volume is that? Is that Blue Lock or? Uh, to the left. Yeah. Was like... That's um. That's so. It's I guess it's not a spin-off. It's like the author does backstories of a lot of the side characters. From um Blue Lock? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that one it's like Kunigami's backstory and then Oh, oh that's Nico sick. and Yori's. You haven't met the guy with the blue hair yet, but Yeah. Okay. I got two of those and then a few of the volumes that aren't out yet, and then another and the episode Nagi mm -hmm. chapter. Nice. There you go. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to also start collecting the Slam Dunk one. I read the first volume, and it was pretty good, so I'm very mm -hmm. curious to see how it, the rest of it goes. Um, but for some couldn't... reason... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I thought you couldn't find it here, though. Or it's I'm, hard to find. I'm just going to get them on Amazon. This oh. point. It's so weird, because whenever I look, I went to Barnes or Barnes & Noble. They don't have them in store, but online, they sell them on, through the online shop. So I'm like, no way they just Maybe sell like... out like instantly, or... They just don't put them in the store for some reason. I don't know, but um, they just a buy it and then pick it up at the store or what? Uh, yeah, I guess. Or or, ship or, it to yeah, you. they deliver. Barnes and Noble delivers. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, dude, having this Barnes and Noble that membership, dude, the five dollars off is oh. And so I originally I went to Barnes and Noble and I wasn't even gonna buy anything, but I went with my sister and um, there's they had a sale going on in the sense where for Starbucks collab. Where if you buy a manga, you get two dollars off of Frappuccino. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I guess I have to buy one now. <laughs> so, That's how they get you, Joseph. Exactly. So, um, so yeah, that was my incentive to get JJK. So I copped, I copped it. It was, it's worth. Um, but yeah, but I guess, I guess without further ado, Ben, we should get into what do we want to talk about. Do we want to talk about the news that's been going on first, like just everything that's been happening Anime Expo? Or do we want to get into other shows that we've, um, that we finished up? <sighs> Because or, or, you know, or we can just start with Blue Lock, the movie. Hear our initial thoughts. Yeah. On that. I think that'll be a good yeah. little little segue. Um, yeah, I mean, we could just give our initial thoughts. I'll say. I hear your thoughts. I'm very, I'm very happy. I went to go watch this movie. Not one because not necessarily because it was amazing. I think it was a very average. Very, I, I was. It's the definition of an average. I think it was really. It was good. It was really good. But in the sense that it really did feel like a recap. It seemed like yeah. the, the stuff that I wanted about Nagi, 
it seems like they really just blew past it and then kind of they they like took their time with the first couple matches and then like trying to understand Nagi and then I feel like it just kind of speed sped run the rest of it yeah. to catch up to where he meets Isaki and all that and then we see him and then I will say though the scene with Nagi and um oh what's his name the pur- purple haired guy I'm gonna kick myself Rayo Rayo that's what it is yeah whenever they they part ways that I definitely did feel it a lot more yeah. um I, it, was, it is pretty messed up that he did that but I was like wow but it was it was I think personally it was so cool seeing things from Nagi's perspective. Because I, it's so cool because throughout Blue Lock, it, we are always seeing things from Isagi's perspective and we're always rooting for him. But now mm-hmm. when we're seeing it from Nagi's perspective, it's so easy to be like, man, I'm really rooting for this guy. And it just makes every other character seem that much more impactful because it's like, man, I really don't want to see these guys lose. And then I don't really want to see those guys lose. So you really feel the tension every single match, which is yeah. really cool. And and I want to say seeing Isagi's like, power his like foresight ability that he's like seems that he's like learning through nagi's mm-hmm. perspective was really cool yeah um, that was that was awesome and yeah. I, just, I just think it was fun yeah the author likes to do that i mean he's stated that nagi is like the second main character kind of he's kind oh, of wow. like like yuda from jjk because mm-hmm. yuda was supposed to be yes the main character of jjk mm-hmm. but um, so he likes him a lot, and okay, so he well, started I didn't with know that. a spinoff story. Mm-hmm. Now Rin has a spinoff story that's ongoing. Oh, wow. um, but he really goes into detail about a lot of the characters' backstories, mm-hmm. like uh, the, the lots, almost a, a good amount of people that are still in the story right now, you know mm-hmm. their backstory and like how it impacted them to get where they are and how it affects them, that kind of stuff. That's see exactly. So it, yeah, it's like um, like you said, it makes you feel for them a lot more. No, it and definitely it's does. Like, it's it like definitely it's, does. You good? Is that your yeah, problem? yeah, I dropped my phone. Oh, silly. I'm good. It's just um, it makes things that happen in the manga a lot more impactful and mm-hmm. with the reason. So I like it. No, um, yeah, I definitely agree, and and, and I think that. It does such an excellent job, and I think you have to for a sports anime, especially. It's it's when you can't just have it be like, oh, you know, especially because there's always that trope in anime, whether it be like when I was watching Crokinole Basket, or I don't know how Haikyuu is, but mm-hmm. I'm assuming that it's like, okay, well, we're following the main character. We know he's most likely gonna win and make it to the very end of the uh, the journey, right? But you know, yeah. obviously, it's the journey that makes the anime great, but when you do something like this and you have all these characters being fleshed out, bless you. Um, Thank you. You have all these characters that are fleshed out. It's, it makes it so much more than like, dang, I really want Isagi to win, but at the same time, I don't want to see Nagi lose or, or, or yeah. Bachira or um, Kunigami or anyone else. Rin, um, Ch- 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 Chikari. Chikari. Is, is that his name? Yeah. All yeah. those guys. So it, it was a very good, it was a good movie. It was, I, I liked it more so because it got me hyped for season two. And it was able to be, I was watching it and I was like, oh yes, that happens. And that, I remember yeah. it, like Baru and, and, um, and the first like fights and how it, it started off in the room where they have to kick the ball at somebody and yeah. all of that. And, and just like things like that, that I totally forgot about. So I'm, I'm very glad it gave me that refresher and that oomph to get back into the series. So that's, that's more so why I'm, I'm very happy. I went to go watch the movie, um, that was cool. And then I wanted to ask you, I know you sent me a message, but I forgot what your response was. I, I was so I watched this movie alone. I, I literally went, I went to a showing at 9:30 a.m. I was the only person in the theater. I took off my shoes, bro. I took up two seats. I, I reclined. It was nice. Um, but yeah, so I was gonna say I I didn't. I wish more people were there for the reaction that you said that you had in your theater. But the thing where the guy says oh, yeah. like the go the the Gojo reference of I am the honor I'm alone and the honored one. Is that in the manga, or is that just no, something they added? Just that to... was they added that. That's awesome. That is so sick. I was like, what? That was so funny. Yeah, that was a very cool reference to JJK. I saw that and I was like, wait, <laughs> he said the thing. Um, I know. Everyone's like, what? Yeah, and then they that mentioned did not they mentioned Goku. They they talk about Super Saiyan going Super yeah. Saiyan. So I was like, oh, that's that's sick. And that was nice. Funny. But but yeah, in terms of the new stuff, I, I feel like it wasn't much, but when it was it was very nice to see that backstory of Rayo and Nagi at the very beginning, especially with how like 
different Nagi's life probably would have been if he didn't meet Rayo. Which again, yeah. I think it just makes it so much more impactful when we see this um this betrayal. Not betrayal, but you know, I guess you could call it a betrayal, yeah. Um, between Nagi and Rayo. It was because whenever I first watched it, I was like, dang, that's just his, you know, boy, but we didn't really have any substance to it. And you know, obviously yeah. since we're with Asagi, we're just like, alright, join join up, join with Best Boy. But now it's like <laughs> Now it's like we actually feel the emotion. So it was it was it was sad. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, the cringe. It hurt. But um that had had to happen. And then I will say my favorite scene I think was probably the one with them talking to Ego at the very beginning, whenever they first get to Blue Lock. Um, yeah. and then he's they're just left there and oh it was awesome. And we get to see Isaki race in again. So it was We're good. all started. Mm-hmm. Yep. So <laughs> I'm very what did, what did you, excited. Topic that everyone loves to talk about in Bulak is the animation. What did you think about? It was actually good. <laughs> it was good. I think I, so. I didn't mind it. Um, I will say the CGI part was it's still it's still kind of rough. Um, but I'm trying to think. Oh. I don't really. I think that it it is a lot of steel frames. Um, which is it, it is. I mean, I it's very hard, and especially with doing a sports anime like soccer where it is a lot of bodily movement. And it, I guess with sports animes in general, like basketball as well, you have to know how to do the animation because them moving a lot, is it is hard. It's it's a lot. Yeah. You know? um, so, I mean, you, ha- you have to understand why they do it. But I it is... It was... I don't know. Maybe I didn't really... I, I thought it was good. I liked it. There was one part that really caught my attention was... I think Nagi did, like, a bicycle kick or something. Mm-hmm. And I noticed they just had drawn him out and they're moving the entire picture like around. I was like, mm, Oh really? Oh no. shoot. I don't even remember that. Yeah. That, I, I guess I need to watch it again a... when it comes to crunch Yeah. I, um... I have hope. I have hope for season two. Mm-hmm. I don't mind a little bit of CGI, but. Oh, I just want the important parts to look good. Yes, I'm sure they will. I'm scared. Because the art in that manga is really good, and mm-hmm. there's some really, like... Oh, yeah, it is really good. Really good scenes that I don't want them to mess up. Yeah. And, so... and if they do, I'm just going to tell you to read the manga. Yeah, okay, say less. But um, I will. I forgot. I, f- I remember you telling us in Japan, but I forgot... Um, why is the ch- what are the chains things again? Because I was gonna say watching this, I don't remember if I really saw any of the chains. Is that something that's really just in the manga, or do they show? Um, they it's a more lot? of a figurative thing. Yeah, the chains represent like each person's ego, mm-hmm. I guess. Um, like there's a few where you can like, like one person has their chains are made of like glasses, like see through. Mm-hmm. Um. And that kind of represents that they have a super fragile ego and it's like easily broken. Yeah. Um, and then some have like really small chains and some have like a bigger chain with a lot of chains holding them down. Yeah. Um, and that plays into the story like literally directly. Oh, that's cool. Because I remember seeing the, I was looking at front someone, I saw the one of Ego like himself and he had a lot of chains on him. Yeah. So I guess that just, yeah. Yeah. But it's cool. I like how. Uh, that plays into the manga. I don't want to say too much about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, no worries. But that's that's sick. It's really cool. But yeah, overall, I thought it was a good time. Um, it wasn't anything special to me or crazy out of this world. Mm-hmm. But I think it was it's exactly what I wanted and needed. Um, or I guess it needed. Not. Um, I, I guess I could have wanted more. But um, I think it, it definitely rejuvenated my hype for the series. Um, I forgot how much fun it was watching it back. Gosh, it feels like so long ago now. Whenever it first came it was out. pretty long ago. Yeah, so it. I'm excited to get back into it. Um, it, it was a very fun world watching it weekly and just oh man, because yeah. I remember whenever we finished season one, had you not read it then? You hadn't read it, right? Mm-mm. It no. was only after season one that you yeah. read it. Okay, so yeah. All right. Well, it's gonna be a good Crazy. time. But yeah. Better be. Dude, oh, better be. So yeah, we lock. Good movie. Great time. It was fun. Um, mm-hmm fun overall but yeah so uh, i guess that could lead us into another topic that has to do with movies ben um demon slayer season four has ended 
the Hashira training arc after eight episodes has come to an end. And wow, that final episode. Well, something. It was pretty good. It was it was pretty good. I will say, Ben, I, I saw the panel. I think I sent you the picture of the panel that like it's recreates the shot of with Muzin and all the Hashira like coming straight yeah. at him. Man, it looks so much better in the anime. I'm going to yeah, keep it a buck with one you. One thing I, I really like... I, Demon Slayer has a really good director when it comes to adding things or scenes that aren't in the manga. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems like he has a really good idea of what's like the feel of the scenes, what they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing. And I think he adds that very well. Mm-hmm. It plays to the emotion of everything. Um, I think it's really good because I don't think there wasn't that much at the end, like showing them falling and whatnot. Yeah. Um, it was really good. The whole episode was really good. Yes. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Start to finish. The the, the talk with Muzen and the, the head of the Hashiras was, was was very it was I was anxious. I was on edge the whole time. I was seeing where is this going? And the fact mm-hmm. that the we don't know if I forget his name, but the, the main the leader of the Hashira and the leader of the Demon Slayer Corpse. Um, yeah, him. Um the the fact that he was willing to kill himself and his family to just try and stop Muzen and for it to be futile is it's very depressing. Um, it was it was such a good moment though, and something that I wasn't expecting it to go. Whenever uh-huh. everything blew up, I thought that was Muzen doing it. Um, at first, <laughs> I thought he was the one who yeah. was like, "Oh my gosh, how did he? Why did he do this?" And then just seeing all the Hashira there, and I, I did notice at some point I was like, "Okay, I, I knew that um the Stone Hashira was going to do something because." I, I noticed whenever they were all lining up and showing up at the, the, the house, he wasn't there. So I was like, okay, where is this mm-hmm. going? Where's he at? And then, lo and behold, he did... Um, although he did know about what was going to happen, he didn't have it. Um, the plan didn't go through fully. So that was, that was a good surprise. Um, and man, it was, it, was, it, was, it was intense, man. It was a lot. Just seeing all the Hashra, all that pure hatred and anger and rage that they had just toward him. And... and um, Tanjiro too himself going straight at him. I was like, wow. So yeah. um it's crazy. There's still so many questions I have about the show. I remember us theorizing back when season three of the Swordsmith Village was still going on about this whole thing about Tanjiro's relation to this this dumb idiot demon. And I mean <laughs> that's that's still something that it feels like it's in the back burner right now. So I'm hoping that's it, gonna get answered. I think, um I think it gets explained in I want to say that's the third. Oh, what movie is it? It might not even be in the movies. It might be in the last season. So, is there going to be another season after the movies? I, or I is, don't know. Or is the movies... Because the way that they're doing the movies, I think... I think they're going to... There's So the whole arc is like... There's a bunch of different fights going on, but yes. I think each movie is going to focus purely on one fight with the upper moons, maybe? But yeah. I don't know how... I don't know. Because there's still technically another arc mm-hmm. after the Infinity Castle arc, which is where like they finish stuff. Yeah, the closings of yeah. the story. But would you say it's more like an epilogue? No, because like there's stuff that still happens in the final arc. Oh. Like there's the Infinity Castle arc, and then it's they're not like completely different. They transition very yeah. smoothly. But I just I don't know. I don't know because it would seem like the simple thing to do is just break it break the movies down into the fights but i don't know if they're going to do that because mm-hmm. i know they released it, it said demon slayer the infinity castle arc yeah blah blah, blah and then next arc. so i think they they might just do the infinity castle and then mm-hmm. it'll probably be a short season after that but okay i would prefer them not to drag it out but i don't yeah. mind because it's I'm very excited for it. Yeah, no, this this Infinity Castle thing is gonna be it's gonna be crazy. So, 
I'm excited, Ben. I'm excited to see what they got up their sleeves. But it's going to be a good time regardless. Um, yeah, it was a great final episode. I honestly, I don't really even remember what else happened throughout the episode. It was such a long episode, though. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see. Let me see if I can pull some, something up there oh. and see what's been up with it. I want to. He- I, I want to hear you. You're theorizing because you don't. You don't know what's ha- what's going to happen in the manga, right? I do not know. I haven't seen any spoilers. Okay, so although you know, you ben, know how- Oh, sorry. I was going to. Wait, didn't you say you saw something a while ago? No, no, it's not for that. I was going to say I got spoiled for Code Geass. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, and it it was the, it's the big thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I felt so bad. I I was like I was watching a thing and they were like, it's been 20 years, we can talk about Code Geass, and then he <laughs> just blurted it out and I was like, oh my gosh. Was it like the end? Thing? Yeah, yeah, no, it was the oh end. Oh my god. <laughs> he did he just said it happened and I was like, ah, that's I feel so bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so <sighs> sorry. I was like, that's gonna kill me. I, I told you to watch it, Joseph. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Unforgettable. I'll forget about it. I'll forget about it eventually, and then... Dude! I keep... I get spoiled on what happens in Dr. Stone. I, every day, somehow, I think about the spoiler. I've been trying to forget it, and I, something yeah. brings it up. It's, it's hard. And this just brought it up. I don't know how my, ride, my mind just, like, automatically goes to that spoil. I need to get, like... You get it removed. I'm very upset. <laughs> Honestly, I, I really do wish there were things that you could just remove from your brain. Um, but wow, well, okay, anyways. no, I'm looking at the Hashira arc, but it seems like we summed up the episode pretty well, actually. Um, yeah. Okay, so you don't know what happens, right? In, like, no, I, I, I don't, I don't know any spoilers at all for Infinity Castle. Okay. So, throughout the entirety of Demon Slayer... Zenitsu has been this like super I, happy. Uh, yes, that's right. We did forget to talk about that. Oh man, he's been the super happy, annoying character who's always screaming. But then he looks serious. He get he locked in. What, what do you think was in that note that he got? So uh, do they say they don't say who gave him the note? They right? They just say it was the bird. Yeah, yeah. The bird gave him the note, but she doesn't say like who gave him the note, right? No. She just says there's a note for you. I'm trying to think. I don't think we ever hear anything about Zenitsu's past. We yeah. just see a tiny bit. Actually, hold on. I want to see if we can. Yeah, I, I, I pulled up. The, I pulled up the frame of him falling down the castle, and then he just opens yeah. his eyes, and he's like locked in. He's locked. Yeah. No. It's crazy. It is definitely a character shift, and and I am here for it. At first, I was glad. I'm glad it wasn't some like stupid reason, but I thought he was gonna do a joke. But there's two. There's two two ways it could go. It could be something like it's some family member died or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, or I could very much see it being a silly reason, which would be something like a pun at the very end, it's like "aha." Uh-huh, Think so. He's locked in because uh, I don't know. Like Nezuko said that she loves him or something like that. If she <laughs> if she does this if she, if he completes this task or something like that, and then he locks in. But no, I don't know. Realistically, I really do hope it is something like a family member who's died or, or has been stolen or kidnapped by a demon yeah. or, or something like that. Um, I think that would be very cool to see Zenitsu's development as somebody who's gone from this week, especially where we last see him at the end of uh, the Hashira training arc with Inosuke and Tanjiro both being able to push the rock. Mm-hmm. So I think he definitely needed this boost throughout the Hashira training arc. He was just kind of done with it done with everything so i think uh i think this is good for him um as a character but obviously hopefully it's nothing too terrible for his poor the for the poor guy but yeah it's so awesome cool. it was so cool getting to see everybody teleport into the castle finally um but yeah, yeah that whole thing was like um yeah that whole sequence was like new just seeing everyone's reactions and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the whole thing with Inosuke, him just dropping in and laughing, and I thought that was really yes funny. I agree. He's excited. I know. I need to try. I was trying to see if I... Oh, here it is. This is Inosuke. 
Yeah, I'm trying to look up what he says. He says, no, not yet. What does he say to Tanjiro? I had my next training session. Are you alright? You haven't said much for the last few days, and that worries me. He said, is that right? Good for you. <laughs> Give it your all. Yeah, he seems like he's, as for me, what I'm supposed to do, what I have to do no matter what, it becomes clear to me, that's all. Interesting. What I have to do no matter what, it becomes clear to mm -hmm. me, that's all. Well, you'll find out in the first movie. So it says, in the first movie. It says it's something that he has to do. Yeah. It's a task. That makes it seem like, yeah, maybe something did kill him. And he's like, I need to kill this demon now, or something like mm -hmm. that. I could see it being that something like, something something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that is very depressing. Um, but yeah, I will say that the Hashira training arc definitely picked up at the very beginning. It was something that, uh, I mean, eh, I was like, I was like, okay, but it's it definitely ended on a good note. Okay, I'm trying to see when he gets the letter. Yeah, I remember at the beginning of the season, I was like, it's definitely the calm before the storm. Letter? Oh, this isn't even, yeah, it's just, it just says a letter. It's a, sorry, yeah. go ahead. I, I was just saying how this season, like I said at the beginning of the season, this was really the calm before the storm. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it really takes a drastic turn. And it's like, not until the end of the show, it's not the same Demon Slayer anymore. Like it's, it feels like a completely different show. Damn, that's good. It's in the, the Shibuya, Shibuya arc of yeah. Demon Slayer. Man, yeah. it's so crazy, dude, these new gens. Oh, man. Um, yeah, it's it was really good. I like seeing everybody's backstories more. Um, getting to see the Wind Hashira, the Snake Hashira, was very cool. I really did like them a lot, especially how it seems like the Snake Hashira has a big old crush on the... The flower Hashira, or whatever she is, the love Hashira. The yeah, love, love Hashira. Hashira. Um, yeah, that was very funny, and just seeing their personalities. I think I'm. Ve I'm hope we get some more stuff about Genya and the Wind Hashira, They're, and them as brothers. Mm -hmm. so that was a very fun bit throughout the Hashira training arc, and then as well as the Stone Hashira. I really love him a lot. He's very cool. Um, he's very intense, and I, I loved it. And I'm also more excited to see more about oh what's his name the water hashira he we had a Giyu. yeah e Giyu? yeah Giyu. yeah I'm very Tomioka. I always get confused on which is the first or last name yeah because they always interchange them so mm -hmm. so yeah I think uh, it was very good it was very good and geez when it, so we don't we don't have any confirmation about the movie dates right it's just it's just that oh coming. I think it's they're gonna do it. I think since it's gotten so big, they're doing a global release rather than just in Japan. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, that's, that's what be, everyone that's what be has been saying. So I think that's that's crazy. Yeah, the fact that Demon Slayer's gotten this popular is is wild. I know it's it is so mainstream now. It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, like as whenever that trailer came out, it was. It was number one trending on YouTube, mm -hmm. which is like that's that's crazy. For anime, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's it just goes to show, dude, how popular anime has gotten, and especially Demon Slayer. It's something that a lot of people are looking God. forward to. Arguably, it's goes. I'd say arguably more. Oh, would you say more popular than Attack on Titan? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I don't know. It yeah. Me, it's hard to say. Yeah, too different. I wish Attack on Titan times. did a theatrical release, man. That would have been so yeah, that would have been that would have been good. But Demon Slayer is they broke the was the it's the what is it the Mugen Train movie is the highest yeah selling anime movie. Yeah, so. interestingly though, you never see you never see it being number one in manga sales usually, which is interesting. I'm sure it was when it was still true. Um, yeah, I guess it's over at it's some over point for a while. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Because I was rereading some of the chapters, and current chapter was it was probably close to 200, but 
um, in the manga, they're like, anime airs August 6th. And so the manga was almost done by the time it started airing, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So it hasn't been at the same time. publishing for a while. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. So it's excited, man. It's exciting. I'm very hyped for it. But hopefully we do get a release date soon. And hopefully the movies come out in a reasonably, uh, reasonably, you know, s- decent time within each other i because i'm not doing this attack on Titan bs where it's a year that's that's painful but who knows if it is if they're all if all three of them are theatrical releases which would be nuts i I, there's no way all three of them are going to be theatrical releases yeah are they actually yeah that's insane i think i can put up with a, a year if a year if, if they'd have to be that closer to two hours they better be closer to two hour movies that's honestly that'd be crazy because like it's a long arc but it is not it's not that long for six hours like what is that anime episodes are like 20 minutes long yeah six times gosh that's like three and a half episodes Wait. each each movie like three and a half episodes so yeah, that's like oh, was... if a normal core is twelve episodes, you can fit. Oh yeah, well, you know what? That's actually not bad. Yeah, because in two hours, it's one hundred twenty minutes divided by twenty. Yeah, minutes, even if the movie's like an hour forty, episodes. give us like an hour forty-five. If it's, I want an hour, hour 45. forty-five. Give me that. If give me that at least, that is the lowest I want. Yeah. That's actually not bad. Yeah, so if you give me an hour 45 movie, not including credits, so like make them like 147. That's like then... five episodes. You know what? That's... Never mind. I take back what I said. That's reasonable. Yeah, because I don't want to... If it's, if it's like this, like, Nagi and episode Nagi and like the, the recap movies nah. BS where it's like an hour 20, like I swear, dude, that the, the whenever I went to go see the Demon Slayer, the Hoshu training movie, it was like I was in the theater in and out, dude. It was short. Um... So I want like a I want a movie, and yeah no like these are the this is the first actual movie since Mugen Train because yeah. other ones were just Recaps. they would do yeah. recap and then the first episode mm-hmm. which is whatever but these are like actual movie movies yeah so which is... so yeah I'm I'm hoping that we do get actual because let me see I wonder how long Mugen Train was I have Demon Slayer pulled up right now let's see Mugen Train yeah Mugen Train was almost two hours it was an hour 56 look at that fine. We, we, if, fine. We get, if we get those lengths then I will gladly that's, wait a year for the next movie I will. that's a big task though a year and a half even I will do a year and a half that's, I can't dude I can't <laughs> yeah we're gonna be so old why couldn't they just do I'm I have come to terms with the movie release. Yes. I'm fine with it. It's yeah. gonna be awesome. I had flaws, yeah. Like, sure. it's gonna be amazing. But god damn it, we could have been done with the show if they did. I know. Yeah, but I'm just gonna hold out. And Mugen Train was incredible, so I know that. Um, I know that it's it's gonna be okay. I know that it's gonna be okay, and that's fine. Pro- that's probably cope, but. Yeah, that's how it goes. So I get to tell my children that I was alive when these movies came out. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna be like, "Whoa, you're old." Kids, but yeah. Those came out so long. I'm so excited to like progress my kids through like an anime and manga. They won't have kids. to wait for anything. It's gonna be. I'm gonna make them wait, dude. It's gonna be like whenever like the Avengers, whenever they watch Infinity War, and be like, "You're waiting like a year and a half." <laughs> <laughs> but that's funny. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. For Star Wars, too, they're going to have to wait to watch the prequels. <laughs> like 15 gonna years. make them wait between <laughs> <laughs> the originals. So, um, so, yeah, Demon Slayer, we're excited. It's once we get those release dates, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I, at first, I was so, I was so not anti Demon Slayer, but just like, it's so, the animation is carrying it, but now I don't even care. I'm just locked in for this. It's so beautiful and peak. So, I think, um, I don't know. I'm definitely going to re-watch it before the movie comes out because mm-hmm. I think people over- overlook the fact that Muzan killed Tanjiro's family. That's that, right. 
that I plays totally a lot for... yeah into like the emotions of everything mm-hmm. um it's been so and just to so long. remember the little details yeah so i'm definitely gonna remember, remember rewatching it yeah man there's definitely I wonder if there's a reason why he killed his parents. There's got to be. Again, it goes back to the whole thing of that dude being related to him. So. It's. Man, oh man. Do you still think that guy's related to him? Yes. I think they're connected somehow. I do. Reincarnation, whatever. It's. 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 uh, They're they're connected somehow. And you cannot tell me otherwise. Okay. So. Um, with that being said, Ben, have you got anything else to say about Demon Slayer? Um, just, uh, just that we cannot wait for it. Cannot wait for it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Demon Slayer, there you have it. Um, man, we got, still got a lot to talk about. Uh, Kaiju number eight, Ben. Got what kind of speed run? Uh, spring, the spring anime is, is spring anime is coming to a close. We had a great spring season. And two other shows that we've been watching, or I know, well, I guess they're still going on, actually. Oh, yeah, no, two shows that we've been watching are ending, uh, Kaiju Number 8 and Go-Go Loser Ranger. And I, unfortunately, am not finished with Go-Go Loser Ranger, but I am finished with Kaiju Number 8, and I am caught up with My Hero Academia, which has also been coming out this spring season. So, Mm -hmm. um, I guess, first off, we can talk about Kaiju Number 8. That was, that was, I I think this is my call of the night, Ben, my my new call of the night in the sense that... I had no expectations going into this show, and yeah. I don't. I remember us talking about that this show is getting an adaptation, and I honestly, for some reason, thought it was more of a mecha than uh, yeah. a uh, than what it is uh, about kaiju monsters. But mm-hmm. it it's definitely it surprised me. I'm not gonna lie. The first like one or two episodes, I wasn't really bought into it, but it's it definitely picked up, and I really like all of the characters. Kafka's awesome. Uh, Shinomi is great and uh um all the other the the vice captain and the the main captain and then kafka's friend they're all just great characters and it's it's a fun show i like i again i know we've talked about it before just the fact that kafka is not your standard anime protagonist i think is really fun so there's just so many interesting and funny quips to the show that make it really cool and i will say the fight scenes do go pretty hard so yeah it was good i really liked it a lot and i'm it already got confirmed for season two so it seems like people are liking it as well. First, first dress up. I know. Anyway, no, it was, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I, um, I remember everyone was saying that this is going to be a really good show, and they were right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think I was hooked on the first couple episodes. Mm-hmm. Not gonna lie, that's good. Uh, it was really good. I, I, I really like how. Kafka's just like the random middle aged dude who happens to get um <laughs> We still don't know what happened what's up with that bug. Yeah, we really don't. Why it shows him. And we saw it at the end, but like I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. So I think it's just funny how he got chosen, he's just random. He's <laughs> just a dirty old dude. But I really liked it. It was good. Mm-hmm. Um all the characters are awesome. Yeah. And it was very interesting to see how everybody reacted whenever it was revealed that he was a kaiju. And it seemed like everybody was on his side, which was, yeah, yeah which was very cool. Um, I, I was kind of hoping at least one person would be very against it to be like the, to be like, like, dude, what the heck? Like, this is not, this is, not, this is, this is a <laughs> dude, killer. What the heck, man? Yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, or not unfortunately, but that's just not how it went. And um, it all works out. I'm excited to see season two with him as a, not with him now as a kaiju among the group, getting to see how it works together, and maybe him mm-hmm. training more with um, the vice captain because it seems like they're going to get along quite a bit more now, um, and just how the rest of the squad does and how he eventually gets to stand beside, Mer- uh, I don't know her name, but um, Nina, N- Nina, Mina. So, yeah, it's very fun, very fun. I like it a lot. It's good, and season two cannot was... come fast enough. I was surprised that I didn't expect him to reveal himself that soon. Yeah. I thought it was going to, I thought the season was going to end with him revealing himself or something, mm-hmm. but I'm okay with it. Everyone seemed to 
okay with it. Yeah, no, exactly. If everybody's okay with it and we're just ready to go about um, life, then that's fine. I think I do hope there is some conflict, though. Maybe like some people being like questioning if it is okay for him to uh, be amongst the group, especially with now it seems like Kaiju number nine fully becoming more human, uh, or at least not human, but knowing more human intelligence and how they how the humans think and act so yeah. that way he can blend in more and use it against them to uh, be a formidable opponent so that'll be exciting to see but till then that's did, uh kaiju number eight did they they killed kaiju number 10 right yes yeah that was the one that he sacrificed himself or like he revealed himself with. yeah so i know that they mentioned that the numbered kaiju, whenever they get killed, they get turned into weapons. Mm -hmm. Do you think they're going to turn... Well, they will turn 10 into a weapon. I'm assuming they're going to turn 10 into a weapon. Yeah. I wonder who's going to get to use it, though. That's true. We don't know yet. Is um is the weapon that Sh Shinomiya uses... That's not, a, that's not a kaiju weapon, right? That's just like a, a beefed up weapon? I think... So, okay. Maybe I think it is just a beefed up one. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Unless it's if it is from a kaiju, it might be from kaiju number three. Yeah. I don't know why three sticking to my head, but I don't know. I trust you. I trust you. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, so that's that, and yeah, kaiju number was very. It was a good show. It was fun. It was fun seeing all of its uh, marketing whenever we were in Japan. Um, <laughs> I was very curious whenever before we went out to Japan, saying what what are going to be the shows that we see. And it honestly, it seems like the show that we saw the most. What, what would you say it was Ben? I saw we saw a um, lot of Boshi the Rock stuff, a lot more than I was yeah, expecting. That was my camera doing. Um, um, what was it? I feel like there's a lot of, I guess, out of the mainstream shows. Mm -hmm. Um, so I got about a high Q. Yeah, that's right. Just high Q. Um, I feel like there's just everything. Like all the. Hold on, my camera's bothering me. It's a little blurry. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Uh, Look at that, Ben. Sorry, Sinitsu. Okay. Um, I think, I feel like all the popular ones they were, like especially in anime. They were all the manga was like spread out and put out in their own section yeah. for, for everyone to look at. Like JJK, Blue Lock, Sakamoto Days, mm -hmm. My Hero, all the big ones. Um, but I feel like there wasn't. I feel like I didn't see much. Like merch, yeah. Wise, which I'm really upset about because. I was scrolling through TikTok one day, and this person that I follow, they went to Japan, mm -hmm. like, literally the day after we went. Aww. Or, the day after we left, sorry. Mm -hmm. But, they went to a different anime, and there was a whole section for Blue Lock, and they, they had they bought this really cool uh, poster. Oh, um, what? That's sick. I'm sad. You know, it's, it's going off of that, this is also, I guess, a side tangent, but <clears throat> Ben, I was watching some YouTubers react about, like, their, it, it was like their viewers made them choose, like, certain mangas, and they live in Japan, and yeah. um, and he reads Japanese, so he, the one of the ones that they made him read was Domestic Girlfriend, and remember how we were looking for that and couldn't find it, Ben? He said yeah. that he had to go to five different book-offs to find it. So, really? like, do you think it's just that popular? Or I it's... either it's just that popular or it's it's just that rare. So, I was like, okay, that makes me feel a little bit better since we didn't find it. Did but... I did I tell you that I asked one of the anime workers if they had Kagura Bachi? Yes, yeah. I was talking to to Weezums about it, uh -huh. and I was like, "There's no way it's that popular." And apparently, they just it's. People buy it so often that they they run out of like back stock everywhere. That's insane. So they have to like print a whole another batch for like the whole country, and just sells out instantly. <laughs> That's wild. It has to be a joke, man. There There's has like to... two volumes out. That's ridiculous. I I don't get it. it got announced that it's getting an English release, right? And you know I yeah, will say November. that's that is soon, dude. If it only has two volumes out in Japan. 
That's maybe that's, it is the maybe it is maybe just as popular. Good. We're just kind of we're just coping, but who knows? I every time I see that, I think of the whole meme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, whenever it came out, like the first chapter came out, everyone's like, "Best new gen." <laughs> Enough time has passed. It's better than Attack on Titan. I thought that was hilarious, but I can't like disassociate the I manga agree. from that meme. I can't. I cannot look at it the same. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. It's who knows, man. Um, I yeah, I don't know. I haven't really heard much about it since then. But the fact that yeah. it is getting an English manga adaptation already is crazy. I'm sorry. I also didn't get um the second volume of. Blue Vortex mm-hmm. because I don't know when that's gonna the first volume comes out here like March of next year um, mm-hmm. but it's so like let me grab my My Hero one because like let me see I'm trying to see if I can find anything about Kagurapachi Like, it's sold over 22,000 copies in just 10 days of its first release. So, you know how, like, the manga covers are actual covers, right? Yes, I like, like it. Like, it comes lot. off and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Like, this My Hero one, I, I just think it's so cool. So, it's it's this, right? Like, that's probably spoilers, but whatever. Nah, it's the volume cover. It's very But good. then it comes off and it's like a sketch of... Mm-hmm. That's so cool. It is. I, I love the uh, the ones for JoJo's. The Steel Ball Run one is very sick. Um, Why can't... I also like, think I... the Naruto ones are a little boring. It's just the same. Yeah. Thing, just full. That's but... how the Boruto one was. It was just yeah. that, but not tinted. Or tinted. Yeah. No, but like the JoJo Lands is also very cool. It's a sketch of like the beach of Hawaii. So I, I really like it a lot. Um, yeah. Like... I'm getting FOMO. Like, I feel like I should just buy every manga there. I, I agree. I, I saw in your shelf that you got the Blue Vortex Volume 1, and I was like, I wish I bought that. I'm glad That's I got so that. Bad. I'm at least glad I got a few. Yeah, exactly. But, like, thinking, like, I don't know why I'm getting upset about it, because I can't even read them. Like, I'm really just getting them because it's Japan. the manga. Japan. Yeah. Thing about Japanese. Yeah. You could, hey, you could just order them online. It's just not the really? same. Yeah, you can. That's why oh. I got I got one of my volumes of Steel Ball Run on Amazon. Oh, I check. mean, like I think with the Japanese ones. Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, what? Well, Steel Ball Run's not in English. Yeah, it's it's only in Japanese. Oh. So yeah, I just went on Amazon and I looked up Japanese. Uh, or I just looked up Steel Ball Run volumes and they had it. Really? So that's how I got my first volume of Steel Ball Run. But huh, I didn't know that. Hold on, only. <laughs> so yeah, Kaiju Number Eight was good. But we could just speed through Loser Ranger as well as uh, My Hero. Um, I guess we'll just start with My Hero. My Hero has been good so far. Um, we're in the the full out full on war arc, and it's been it's been good. We got the most recent episode. I think we got Deku versus Dobby, which was fun. Um, you said that the fight was mid, if I remember. I, yeah, it, it was. I, I I don't know what to I say. I liked it. Um, it was a good little. It was a good little fight, exactly. Um, I think it was too easy. I thought it was too easy. I was expecting Dobby to put in more of a fight, but it seemed like Todoroki just kind of like let me solo her and just kind of let me solo her. Took him out pretty easily once he mastered this new move, all of a sudden, and and was able to go to work on his his big bro. So it was give it a few episodes. I yeah, think. yeah. So I don't know. It wasn't. It's it, nothing. Nothing about my hero has impressed me yet. So it was what I'm saying. But nonetheless, it has been fun. I'm not gonna lie; I have been looking forward to each episode that I've been watching each week. So yeah. it's been it's been keeping me entertained, I will say. And I'm really more so just excited to see how it ends. I'm very curious. I that's just honestly what I'm here for it, to see the final episode. Uh, oh, really? Yes, to see Deku working at a Burger King is what I'm hoping <laughs> for. <laughs> but is that? Please tell me that's real. I I de- I thought it was so real until I read like the so, like let me send you the picture that I'm talking. I, I you've seen it before. Yeah, it's um, it's him. It's him going up to him and then right at the cashier. Yeah, like look look at what I just sent you. Like I've I've said this before. I'm sure you've seen it. 
but yes, I don't know why I thought that was real. Because <laughs> it looks the, like the, it does. It looks like the top so right true. says, "Do it quickly." After that, you can do the dishes, dumbass. And then he's like, "All right, all my <laughs> number, all my burger number twenty five. <laughs> Who is it for?" <laughs> and there's whenever that came that out. Great. It's <laughs> whatever that so that came out. Someone made a parody of like it in Roblox. Yes. And Baku go go. And then Baku too. was just like, "Put my burger. Just put my fries in the bag, bro." <laughs> I think that's so funny. It is. So it's fake. And then then, I came with, damn it. And then I saw this one too. <laughs> 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 that's awesome you can't you can earn a wage funny yeah it's so. funny oh. it's funny that people are clowning on it but the, the series also does end in like three chapters i know so, so have you been reading it have you been keeping up with these epilogues these chapters i'll keep up with the leaks the, <laughs> the leaks i never really go back and read the english chapters just because mm -hmm. people usually summarize what's going on yeah so, so my hero, it's it's still it's still happening for those of y'all who I guess were worried in case, but yeah, <laughs> it's still going on. It's still chugging along, almost done, and yeah, so it's been it's been great so far, and I am just excited to see. Oh yeah, we finally got the all for one versus Endeavor fight that's been going on right now. That's been kind of cool. That's been very, it's been picking up Ooh. as well. Um, all for one's very cool villain. He's a Darth Vader looking right now, so he's been fun. We got to see. Um, the the hawk shadow stand user with um the ear earplug jack girl fights mm -hmm. in an attempt to put up a fight which went which went about <laughs> as well as you'd expect <laughs> so um good to see good to see the uh the expendables do their part and <laughs> now now we'll hopefully get to see hawks and endeavor square up again against all for one so that'll be cool um but yeah, and I guess we'll move on to Go Go Loser Rangers, which has also become something of a surprise to to me. And yeah. at first, I didn't know how to feel about the show. It, it feels like I was telling Ben before we started. It feels like it really 180. It went in a completely different direction than what I was expecting. I thought it was really going to be him undercover with that yellow ranger girl and the other dude like teaming up to defeat the rangers. Yeah, is what I was kind of expecting. And now it's totally evolved from Fighter D. Kind of, or was it D? Is he D or is he D. F? Okay, yeah, D. D. Fighter D kind of trying to blend in with the uh, rest of the cadets to become an actual ranger. And now we're also getting this more lore that these other bosses still exist with um, these older types of fighters. And, you know, I'm glad that we're still getting that, like, the boys, like, aspect of these rangers not being good yeah. people. Like, with the Blue Ranger in episode, like, 9 or 10, kind of, you know, being a just complete jerk to people. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm liking it a lot. It's been fun. The intro is really good too. It's kind of grown on me. I love the intro. I it's by the I, same never, guy. I think it's the first show I've never skipped. Really? You intro. usually do you usually really skip like, intros? Sometimes, like oh. I'll listen to it. I'm like, ah, all right. Wow. But I really like this one. Mm-hmm. Like it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it did take a turn. Um. Like. I haven't finished this. So I can't talk. I know. I'm sorry. Really it's... about it, but I the way it ends is a little unexpected. But I I liked it. Mm -hmm. Um, I will say I feel like I'm left with a lot of questions. Yeah, I wonder if it's gonna get a season two. I don't know. I feel like I did see a, a, some stuff for it in Japan, so maybe it's it's doing good. Hopefully over there. But I it. I don't know. It really did feel like the first couple episodes were there to just like drag our interest into the show. Oh, it was announced. It is. It's getting a season two in 2025. Sorry to cut you nice. off. But yes, it is confirmed. Oh, really? That's yep. pretty fast. Huh. Um, yeah, I, I feel like <clears throat> the first couple episodes were there to catch our interest and then it took a completely different turn mm -hmm. yeah which is, which is fine like um i still like the show but i don't mm -hmm. know I, I liked it it was a good watch yes yeah it was a very good watch and i feel I'm like it's to see what ends. 
it might just be because I feel like there's some shows that are better to watch weekly rather than all at once. And mm-hmm. I feel like this is a show where it's probably better to watch after it's all out. Yeah, I, was, I agree. I feel like doing it weekly was kind of, eh, but now that I've been binging it a lot more, it's been, I've yeah. definitely been enjoying it a lot more that yeah. way. So I agree. But yeah, it's sad. That's the last of our spring shows. Um, the spring season of 2024 is officially over. Now we get summer with Alia. Sometimes hides her feeling in Russian. That's going to be a great time, Ben. I think once I finish Loser Ooh. Ranger, I'm going to start it. But it's only it's only weekly. and So I don't know what I'm going to watch. I, there's so much I want to watch. I want to watch Made in Abyss. I want to watch Vinland Saga. Um, what is this? Did, did you just discover something? Whoa. This is in my book. Oh, what? That's sick. It's very neat. Hey, JJK. Chainsaw, Man. Chainsaw Man. Yeah. That's awesome. This is cool. Wow. Sick. Well, I've been trying to get Ben to watch Catch Up with the Chainsaw Man manga because it has been incredible. It has been awesome. Can you explain to me what... Yeah, no, I, I'll, I'll catch up. Actually. I was going to say, I really don't want to spoil it. It's yeah. it's very depressing right now. It's very odd. Yeah, it, it looks like it. It's is. very sad. I mean, then just, my boy just getting sexually assaulted, and then Bro pulled a Huey. And then, or bro, Huey pulled a Denji, I guess. Yeah, and then Bro just goes to a sushi restaurant, and then just gets uh just gets the worst shock of his life. So he cannot catch a W. It's really bad for him. And then Oz has just been cra- amazing as well. I really ship them, but they're just so bad for each other. It's amazing. But yeah, so Chainsaw Man's been awesome. But speaking of Chainsaw Man, apparently we are supposed to be getting some news about the Look Back movie um, coming, getting when it's getting its US release. Apparently it got its Mexican release, so it's coming to Mexico, That's for those of y'all who care, <laughs> for our Mexican audience, I guess. Huh. Um, which uh, I can't believe we got the Mexican announcement before the American one. So that- Interesting. Yeah, so uh, I'm excited to see when it's releasing cool. because I will definitely be there. Um, a lot of a lot of um, the industry has been really hyping up the movie. It's been getting great reviews, so I'm I'm excited to hear see it for myself because I'm very excited about the project. And it's been getting rumors spread that Goodbye Harry might actually be a possibility for a movie. And if that happens, I would cry. That was going to be an incredible piece of art. That I am very excited to see. So that's one of the first few things from Anime Expo that is being discussed. As well as a lot more. Like Ben and I have talked about, Bleach, the third core, is coming soon. The It's called... Yeah, the, the, is this the Conflict arc is what it's called, right? Or something like that? That was... Was it? I thought this I think that was the last... I forget. I don't, I don't know, actually. Um, but yeah... As of recording, the trailer came out like I don't know, three hours ago maybe. Yeah, it is called the conflict. Kind of cool. Because I thought it was supposed to come out tomorrow, but I guess it's tomorrow in Japan. Mm-hmm. Or I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, Bleach is coming. That's gonna be awesome. The trailer looks incredible. A lot of people on Twitter are hyped, saying that Bleach is back. The the, the fans seem excited. There's a new video game coming out alongside of it. So there's there's a lot of stuff to look forward to if you are a Bleach fan. You're definitely eating well. And yeah. I'm excited just to get back in the world of, of Bleach because it's since Ben has put me on it, it's been incredible. So Great world. Yeah, it's a great, great soul society world. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited to, to see my girl, Yuruichi. Yuru um, and... Oh, gosh. I th- Wait. Oh, my gosh. That might be this season. Is it the cat pose? The cat? The the. Oh, you know about arc? that? I've just seen the image. That's it. Everyone's seen the image, so. That's fair. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's either this season or the next one. Wow. But Do you think they're going to everyone... animate it exactly like that? They better. I don't know. So... That's very, like, very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting. So, yeah, I'm excited. Actually. Though a good point to bring up because in I forgot which core it was either the first or second uh whenever they're up 
in the royal palace, mm-hmm. reigning with all the Quad Zero, there was a part where Rukia was in an onsen. Oh. And her butt was sticking out of the water, but they didn't show it. They just got rid of it. Oh. Uh, so, we'll see. Man. Yeah, we shall see. We shall. They have to do it. That is, like, such an iconic panel. That is... Everyone on the iconic is an interesting word. Everyone on everyone on Twitter talks about it. I guess Twitter's not a good reference. Yeah, that's why I say. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Um, who knows? But yeah. hopefully, hopefully it does get animated. We shall see. <laughs> so, we shall see. Yeah, but otherwise it looks incredible seeing all the, the whole gang back to together, and is it's ah oh, man, I missed it so much, and I'm excited for it to just pick up right where it left off. So. Yeah, honestly, I might kind of just binge the first two cores again just to get back into it. Yeah. Just so I could... I think it's it's a good practice for... Yeah. I feel like I should have started doing that sooner, rewatching mm-hmm. stuff. I don't know, because... bro. I, I've been wanting to rewatch Chainsaw Man so bad. I might rewatch it. Do it. To be honest, just to watch it. Especially if there's new stuff coming out, because... Mm-hmm. I don't know. So, like, especially with My Hero, I should have... Yeah. Started rewatching after... Mm-hmm. Season four. Well, if you want to rewatch Fire Force together eventually. Oh, I think yeah, yeah. Uh, did we say? Did we not? Did we say something about that yet or no? No, no. I guess that's a good segue then. Yeah. So, yeah. Fire Force after what feels like an eternity is getting its season three again. Fire Force being the show that is also from the same creator of Soul Eater, and who some say are in the same world, um, which would make sense. The moon and the sun are the exact same, so mm. who knows? Maybe that's just his art style for his moons and suns, but. Yeah, they uh in the same or yeah, so Fire Force season three coming back in two cores, one in twenty twenty five and one in twenty twenty six. It's been a long time and according like, according to Ben is my source, um this might be the final season, or it should be the final season. I think I think they did say that well, it will conclude, yeah. Yeah, it's anime. in the trailer. So yeah, this is it. Um That's crazy. Yeah, I feel like I've seen so many volumes of Fire Force though. I can't believe it's it's only it's already ending after three seasons. It doesn't feel well, the right. seasons have been pretty long. They've they been like twenty four episodes. Really? Yeah, like twenty six, I think. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that makes that makes a lot more sense then. Oh yes, you are right. Yeah, they're like twenty four episodes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, yeah, I guess it is forty eight episodes. And wow, I did not feel like that much. That's crazy. Time flies. It really what was does. the last. Do you know what the last season was? Uh, that had been like twenty twenty, right? Sh- March of 2022. That what? doesn't even feel that long ago. Maybe that's... No. There's no way. That's what it says on... Did... Oh, maybe it didn't air on Crunchyroll? And then it just came to Crunchyroll? No, I was... There's no way. No, 2020. There's no way it was 2022. Did... Of course, season two and... Oh yeah, December twelfth, twenty twenty. I don't know why it said that on Crunchyroll. Yeah, That's December twelfth, twenty twenty. So yeah, it's been four years almost. That's why. That is insane. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so long ago. Man, twenty twenty doesn't even feel that long ago. I. That was like during COVID. Yeah. Oh man. Wow. We were in high yeah, school, when, or I was in high that's school. That's when right? season four of My Hero was airing. Oh my gosh. Season seven. What else? What was airing in 2020? See. I remember Haikyuu was airing. My Hero was airing. Black Clover was airing still. Yeah, Haikyuu. Uh... I don't know. That Demon Slayer was no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. By that ever regarding Demon, Sl- Demon Slayer might have finished. Yeah, Mugen Mo- 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 Train had just come out. That's right. Yeah, it seems like Mugen Train was the biggest thing. Yeah. I remember that came out in 2020 in Japan, and then my freshman year of college, mm. we watched it. Oh, Love Is War was coming out then. Um, what else is there? Yeah, JJK. JJK was in 2020. Is it was Tang on Titan 2020 as well? 
yeah the final season yeah the first part <laughs> yeah that's yeah wow that was Dang. quite a while I ago remember, i remember watching tower of god my roommate. no tower way of god. that's no way tower of god is that long too or i mean like same time i feel like tower of god was longer wow yeah so there, there you go it's been a while food wars w food, food wars right underrated dude i that's because i've been putting it off but i do want to watch that god of high school was out that was when that came out food wars is some people will hate it we're talking about it i just want to watch it because it. i know there's a, there's a jojo reference <laughs> so it's a funny show yeah that's what i hear that's what i hear but yeah so fire force is coming back it's um I don't know how I felt about it. It I had mixed feelings. I it was it was up in the air for me. Um a lot of fan service, a lot of fan service. But besides that, I don't know. It was I don't know how I felt about it. It was interesting. I definitely need to rewatch it to give my opinion. I remember Joker I thought was sick, and then the dude of one of the fire divisions, the one with the two different colored eyes, who was voice the same voice of uh Nagami Nagami or Nanami from JJK and uh yeah. Kishibe and Chainsaw Man. It's great. Oh yeah. So, um, his character is cool. So yeah, I definitely, I definitely need to give it a rewatch. But regardless, it's coming. It's uh, gonna be fun. It's always fun. That show is always silly, very colorful. Yeah. So it'll be a good time, regardless. And what else do we have to talk about? Uh, ben, I know you're a Doctor Stone guy, I guess. So season four is coming out as well. That's exciting. When's that coming out? Is that October? Uh, let me see if it has really Weezum sent it to me. So. Let's see. It is coming. Did not say. That be. I uh, just. Oh. Ooh. No, just yeah, coming soon. That's all it says. Okay. Maybe soon. We'll say it's in October. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. that'd be a good season. That'd be a solid season. Yeah. Maybe I need to. Have... Do I watch Doctor Stone? Do I catch up? Doctor Stone's good. I really like Doctor Stone. Well, if Weezum's like it, it must, I don't know if it's good. Oh, brother. Don't let Weezum's influence your My taste. opinions. He likes One Piece. That's true. I always forget that. I gotta remember that. Can't be trusted. Oh, they showed the Dawn of Dawn episode 1 at the Anime Expo. I'm de- okay, I saw an edit of Dawn of Dawn, and I'm definitely interested, because I thought it was about something, and then what I saw... What did you think it was about? Line. Ben, it's it's like it's half rom com. It's crazy, Ben. It's Yeah, I thought it was a rom com and then I see this dude transform what? With like No. It's sick, dude. It's awesome. I can say I know, the whole first cool. episode premise. It's very sick. Um Yeah, it's awesome. It's about a boy and a girl. Uh, a boy who's a complete absolute nerd, and then a girl moves to a new school, and then she she sees him getting bullied, so she stands up for him. And then they're, uh-huh. and then he's kind of like, "Oh, do you you must want to talk to me because you're interested in ghosts?" And she's like, "Ghosts? That's so stupid. I'm. I think the ghosts don't exist. But you know what exists? Aliens." And he's like, "That's so dumb. Aliens don't exist. How could they exist?" So they try uh-huh. and prove each other, which ones exist. And so he says. I bet I bet yours don't exist. She says I bet yours don't exist. So they each go to different locations. They send each other to different locations to to say where we which supposedly exist. Yeah. And then it turns out both of them aren't real. Both of them exist. Oh. <laughs> so a ghost attacks the dude, and then aliens yeah. capture the girl and try and probe her. And uh-huh. so the ghost ends up possessing the the boy, and stealing his two. Uh, yeah. yeah. And so he can now turn into a ghost or like the like a oh, that's the demon is. or I think it's a yokai. And so he can turn into him now and then he goes and like saves the girl and she ends yeah. up getting psychic abilities from because her grandma is a psychic and it runs in her family. So now they kind of Dude. it's it's like it's, I told you it's literally like if Mob Psycho and Chainsaw Man had a baby. That's the that's the anime and it's awesome. It's so great. The 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 art is amazing you should read the manga ben it's it's really fun at least read like the first ch- few chapters if you if you want uh, to this is what i saw yeah so that's the yeah. dude that's the man like, oh, boy. So cool yeah it's the, the art designs are sick and the intro is going to be great it's by creepy nuts 
So they always release banging intros. So I'm excited. Yeah, but no, there is like a subplot of them to kind of like. So yeah, it opens up with the girl being like, "Oh, I have a type called a." Uh, uh, she she's like into a certain type of guy and like his name she she's like oh i'm only gonna like a certain guy if this is their name and so the, it turns out that that boy after like their first interaction that's his name and she like doesn't want to oh, really? believe it so she's like she literally tells forces him to like call himself something else so <laughs> because she like doesn't want to like be in love with him and as you oh. as you guess sparks fly and then another girl ends up coming in a, oh, no. a, there's a love triangle Ben, and then a boy comes in and that's their crew so there's four of them and oh my god it's it's so fun it is so much that's all it's it's it gives me mob psycho vibes but just in like a chainsaw man universe so if that's interesting you should, you should check it out i'll definitely watch it yes we are gonna watch it we are gonna watch yes. it. yes so it'll be coming out in october and i i think you're gonna be hooked after the first episode so um that'll be exciting for when that comes yeah. out but yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna start watching that bartending one. Oh, let me know how it goes. If it's worth it. It was good. Yeah. I don't know. I need something to watch. You can watch Tomo Chan's girl. You won't regret it. I don't it. think I'm ready for a romance. It's not. It it, it is a romance. It is, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. But it's like it's not. A, it's not like my dress up. It's a happy rom com. It's it's not one that's gonna leave you like in pain. I, no, I know. But I don't know. A rom coms a rom com. Yeah, that's true. That's I fair. need to like pace myself down to it. <laughs> you Especially after yeah. like Demon Slayer and Kaiju. I yeah. need to like work my way. Well that's why it's a good it's a good unwinder. It's a good unwinder. There's one I think there's the bartending one I wanna watch. There's mm-hmm. a baseball one I wanna watch. There's then I found an F one what anime i want to watch yeah so yeah that one is ben i think i think i'm gonna watch oshinoko ben i think i'm gonna watch it i That's heard what we saw in japan we saw oshinoko we did see oshinoko a lot um there's a whole slide of shibuya i was gonna say yeah especially at shibuya um i'm i think i'm gonna watch it just because i i heard some i've heard people on online on youtube and on twitter just being like this show is actually genuinely great and they said that one of them said a YouTuber I watched. He said that he's like, he genuinely regrets reading the manga because he wished he could have experienced the anime for the first time. So that's a that's a that's you know. So I was like, I think I'm gonna give it a watch, and I will report I back like... to you my findings. And yeah. In full offense to anyone who's watching, I feel like it's one of the shows with a really weird fandom. Yeah, it does seem like that, doesn't it? does seem like the b star fandom which i guess is a good segue into b stars the final oh, season gosh. the final thank season. god the show's over dude it's stop yapping about it it's so good ben it is so it's good so... it is so good and i will i'm excited to watch it i will be there that show it. will not touch my my little booklet of all the shows that i've watched you need to give it a chance i will die with that it's it's one of those things you just need to give a chance i will die with that all right so, so yeah. I mean, what, is there anything else we haven't covered that's coming out soon? Uh, Blue Lock, Blue Lock season October. two, that's coming. Um, Bleach is coming. Dawn to Dawn's coming. That we haven't gotten any info on the Chainsaw Man movie, which is sad, but hopefully okay. soon because it's supposed to if come out in October. In, in Mexico or what? No, that's look back. Look back is coming. Oh, out. sorry. No, look back. I'm talking about the Chainsaw Man movie. Oh yeah. We haven't Oops. gotten any info on that, and it's been six months since we got the teaser. So, I I don't know what's happening, but yeah, that's taking its sweet time. But it should be coming soon. Um, so hopefully something Dang. soon. I don't know. If, I don't know how many days are left of Anime Expo. Was this the first day, or was it the second day? No. Second day. Yes, I think it started Friday. Yeah, so who knows? All we know is that coming soon. It has 7.4 million views, as much as the first official trailer. So that's pretty good. That tells you that the audience is there for it. So <sighs> who knows when it will be coming, but hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, 
but yeah, I think this is a good place to get ready to wrap it up. Um, I'm excited. I don't know what we're going to be watching this summer anime season. Um, I'll probably watch that Alia Russian show. Um, but I don't know what else is coming out like month or weekly that uh, we're going to be checking out. Is there anything really? Is this going to be a little down I downtime? I heard of anything huge. Yeah. Who knows? I might watch something random. Like, I want to watch that viral hit one. That looks cool. <laughs> so, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, and Windbreaker, Ben. I've been hearing such oh, good things Breaker, about Windbreaker. Yeah. So, Windbreaker ended, I think. Okay, and I've been yeah, seeing a lot good. of stuff about it. So, I might check that out as well as a Shinoko. So, that might good. be what I do yeah. this season. Um, take some down. I think that's honestly, this is a good thing, Ben. I think it's good to have a month of downtime. Of not weekly shows. Since I think we'll be able to watch other shows that we've been wanting to watch. Um, yeah. And yeah, I think it'll be good for us. But regardless, this has been quite an episode. I think yeah, a good episode. Yeah, great episode. We've talked about a lot. So, um, yes, good place to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching the Otaku Brothers podcast as always. I am your co host, Joseph, joined my awesome co host, Ben. And. This has been episode 89. Stay tuned for next Almost week's there. episode. Uh, episode 90. Oh my gosh. Man. 90. That's wild. That's 90 ridiculous. weeks of this. Yeah. Well, it's been more. more but, yeah. Well, yeah. but 90 episodes is crazy. I don't know what we're going to do for 100. So I think we do. Pop some champagne. Yeah, pop some champagne. We'll definitely get some wine. Each get some wine. <laughs> and then we'll just pour it into it. Rena Tux. Yes, yeah, we'll Rena Tux. So, Fancy. yeah, we'll dress up. We'll wear a shoe or something. <laughs> so, look funny. So, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching this episode. We love you guys and have a wonderful, wonderful night. And thank you all. Peace. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>